Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, let us take a look into add put mapping annotation. Well, put HTTP method is used to update the resource and put mapping annotation is used for mapping HTTP put request on a specific handler method. Specifically, add put mapping annotation is composite annotation that acts as a shortcut for add request mapping annotation plus HTTP put method. So basically add put mapping annotation is used to map the incoming HTTP put request to a specific method handler and add put mapping annotation is a shortcut annotation for add request mapping annotation plus HTTP put method. So let us go ahead and let us understand more about add put mapping annotation with example. So let's go to our project in IntelliJ IDEA and go to book a controller and here let me quickly create a REST API. So here let me first create a method public and let's give return type of the method as a response entity and let's pass book as a type. Let us give method name as update book and then let us pass the method argument for example int id and then book. So this is basically updated book that is sent by the client. Next here let us print the id so here system.println and then pass id next system.println and then update book dot get title and then system.println update book dot get description so here basically we have printed book id title description to the console next let us have a return statement return a response entity well response entity class has a generic ok method so let us use ok method and then pass updated book object in a body perfect so before passing this updated book to the ok method let us first set the id to this object perfect now we have created update book method it returns updated book to the client next let us make this method as a rest api well traditionally we are using add request mapping annotation and then we are passing the url by using value attribute for example let's give url something like books slash update slash id so this is a book id next let us use method attribute to specify the http method so in this case we have to provide request method dot put all right so traditionally we were using at request method annotation to map incoming HTTP put request to a specific method handler. Later, Spring 4.3 introduced add put mapping annotation, which is a shortcut for add request mapping annotation plus HTTP put method. All right. So instead of using add request mapping annotation plus HTTP put method, we can simply use add put mapping annotation. For example, here we can replace this annotation with add put mapping annotation. And whenever we use add put mapping annotation, then we don't have to specify the HTTP put method over here. All right, perfect. Now let us dive into this put mapping annotation source code. And notice here put mapping annotation is annotated with add request mapping annotation plus HTTP put method. It means add put mapping annotation is a shortcut for request mapping annotation plus HTTP put method. Well, notice here the name of the annotation put mapping. Well, the name itself says like this annotation is used to map the incoming HTTP put request to a specific method. Well, notice here the URL. Here we have ID. So this ID is basically called URI template variable. Well, whenever a user hit the request with the URL something like this HTTP localhost 8080 slash API slash books slash update and then id let us say book id 1 so this one will be stored in this uri template variable next we need to bind the value of this id to a method argument so in order to do that we use add path variable annotation so here let's use add path variable annotation next whenever a client calls this update book rest api then client have to send the updated book information in the request as a json right so here we have to use add request body annotation to retrieve the JSON from the request and convert that JSON into the Java book object. Alright, so just remember 
we use add path variable annotation to bind the value of this URI template variable to the method argument and we use add request body annotation to retrieve the JSON from the request and convert that JSON into Java book object. Alright, perfect. Next, let us go ahead and let us run the Spring Boot application and let us test this REST API. So from here, I am going to stop and rerun the Spring Boot application. Well, our Spring Boot application is up and running. Next, let's go to Postman S client over here and let us create a new request and here let us choose HTTP put method and just type the URL HTTP localhost 8080 slash API slash books and then followed by update and then one okay next we need to pass the updated book information in the body so go to body click on raw here and choose content type json and here let us pass the updated book information let us say title core java and then description let us say learn core java with coding example something like that next go ahead and click on send button and there we go in a response you can see the book object in a json format and the http status 200 ok next let us go to our project and go to console and notice here the book id book title book description is printed to the console all right so this is how basically we create the update rest api using add put mapping annotation all right just remember we use add put mapping annotation to map incoming http put request to this particular method and add put mapping annotation is a shortcut for add request mapping annotation plus http put method and whatever the attributes that add request mapping annotation provides all those attributes we can use with add put mapping annotation for example we can use multiples urls using this add put mapping annotation and we can also use you know producers attribute to specify the media type and we can also use consumes attribute to specify the media type all right perfect so this is all about add put mapping annotation in next lecture we'll take a look into add delete mapping annotation all right great i will see you in the next lecture